everyone doing? It's see new here, and today we are getting- Justin, what are you doing here? I'm recording a new video. <sighs> really, Justin? We talked about this before. This is my channel. You cannot record here. Well, at least I have a better voice, you massive idiot. Oh my god, really, Justin? You're not even- You know what? Just get out of my room. I don't want to see you Sorry, here anymore, dude. right? I Just now. get out of my room. Hey what's up guys, this is Yungi back on my video and today we're going to take a look at how to make a really cool multicolor splash banner on Android. So we are going to be using this app which is called Photoshop Touch. If you guys don't have this app, the link will be in the description below of this video, you can download it for free. Once you guys download Photoshop Touch, open it up and open on it a brand new project. The resolution of this project that I am on right now is 1280x720, you can make it higher if you want. So basically go ahead and create a brand new background so you can just create it using the gradient so as you can see right over here you can just get creative and create whatever background you want so for example i did create this gradient of black and blue and if you guys would like to change the color go ahead and go for it but i'm going to just use this one right over here just because i like it. all right so once that done you need to go ahead to the link which will be in the description below of this video and then download this background right over here so it have a really nice texture on it so we need it in this video basically go ahead and just import it to photoshop touch and resize it make sure it is bigger just like this and then go ahead to the bottom right corner of the screen make sure that you are on the magic one tool which is this one right over here and then make sure that this option is unselected just like that so once that then hit on that uh, like spot right over here so once the selection is done go ahead and press on this button right over here on the top and then hit on extract which is this option and once that then you'll be having something like this so once you've done that, all you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and duplicate the layer that we created and fill the whole screen with those splashes. Once that done, go ahead and hit on the top layer and hit on merge down until you will be having only one layer that have all of those splashes, just like this. So once you've done that, go ahead and select the eraser, which is right over here. So once you select the eraser, all you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and just erase the center area right over here. And the reason that we are doing that is because later on, we are going to add our text or our name right over here. So make sure that you erase enough space for your name. And I think I'm going to just remove this area right over here. And yeah, I think I'm done with that. So next up, go ahead and hit on this button right over here. Hit on select pixels. And once you hit on select pixels option, go ahead to this layer tab and select the bottom uh, background, which is the background that you, we made in the beginning of this video. And once you guys done that, hit on this button right over here. Hit on clear right over here. And once you guys done that, all you have to do, you're gonna go ahead and just move the top layer into the bottom like this. And then hit on this button and hit on uh, on select. So once you on select it, go ahead to this end sign and go to the gradient. So for the gradient, go ahead and just choose this rainbow right over here, rainbow gradient. And I think I like this uh, gradient right over here, which is the rainbow. And if you guys would like to, uh, to just get the exact same rainbow as mine, go ahead and just, you know, set your very own rainbow gradient just like this. So it's really easy to just set those colors, basically press on those circles and you can easily change the color, which is really, really easy. And once you are happy with the gradient, hit on that check mark button right over here and we are ready to move on to the next step. So for the next step, you need to get a good background that have a nice texture installed on it. So if you guys don't have a good background, I'll leave a link in the description below for around like six backgrounds. You can download those backgrounds and it's the, those backgrounds have like the best texture on it, just like this one. Basically put it on the top right over here and just change the blending option to let's say overlay and just test it out if it looks cool. So this one looks really cool as you can see right over here and I'm going to add another background. So I think I'm going to be using this one. It looks nice and I'm going to scale it up right, like, right here so I'm going to be able to see more details. And then I'm going to add the linear dodge. Um, I think it looks cool like that. So once all of that done, you need to go ahead and just add your very own name or text into this banner right over here. So to do that, all what you have to do is you can go ahead and just add your text into the banner. And if you guys would like to make text just like those and you don't know how, the link will be in the description below. You can see the full tutorial on how to make a cool text that looks something like this. And basically make your text and put it on the center of the screen. Once you are actually done with that, you will be having something like this. Now you can change the font 
font and make it more cooler but I'm actually happy with this font I really don't need to change it if you guys would like to do that do so so the next step go ahead and create a brand new empty layer like this and then you need to place this empty layer below the text layer so once you are done with this go ahead to the brush tool or the paint tool and then go ahead and paint around your text so make sure that this paint right over here looks a little bit sim uh, similar to those uh, splashes right over here on the screen so just paint around your text like this make sure also that this paint kind of connects to those um, splashes right over here is going to add that natural look into our uh, today's banner and once you've done that hit on that button right over here and then hit on, hit on select pixels and then go ahead to the layers tab and just select the the uh, background that we, we created in the beginning of this video and hit on that button right over here hit on clear and once you hit on clear go ahead and search for this paint layer that you created and deactivate it and there we have there we go we have now a paint uh, sorry a splashes around our text now i know it looks a little bit bad but we are going Going to fix it in a second so to fix it all you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and select the background and hit on this effect button and add a drop shadow effect make sure that you mess around with the options of the drop shadow and there we have it now we have a much cooler background and also if you add the drop shadow effect into the text it's going to look more cooler just like this and there we have it guys so for the last step go ahead and just merge all the visible layer just like this and then you can just mess around with the color correction for example you can increase Increase the brightness and the contrast just like this so just mess around with those until you will get a better banner I guess and for example now we can also add a tint into our banner and again guys you are actually free with those effects you can actually you know mess around with them until you'll be happy with it for example as you can see I'm adding now a gradient like this circle gradient right over here just because I think it looks cool and yeah that works out as you can see right over here now we have this really cool multicolor splash banner so before i end up this video i just would like to say guys that this is a twitter banner so if you guys would like to make it a youtube banner all you have to do is you're gonna go ahead and change the resolution of this project and make it 2560 per 1440 and you can just easily import it to youtube but this is a twitter banner and yeah guys i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you guys enjoyed this video please go ahead and just drop a like down below i will appreciate it and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you didn't join me already and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video peace out guys unsubscribe to see new oh my god justin just don't do that guys all right just peace out you